Hello, Hello successful people. people. Welcome back to the Iron Fire Success channel. I'm DK. And I'm Mo. Thank you so much to our subscribers. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Well, we've been in our new construction home for six months now, so we're going to do a six month check in. We're going to share what features and upgrades we designed and paid for that we use the most and which ones we use the least. Okay, so let's get into this list. All right, so we have our top 10 most used and top 10 least used. So you want to do most used first? Yeah, let's start with most used. Okay, cool. You uh, go first. Okay, so um, one of the upgrades that we, that we had or one of the uh, features that we wanted to have in our house was um, motion sensors in certain places, particularly our pantry. So this is one of our most used items because D makes coffee every morning and we're in and out of the pantry all of the time. So we never have to hit a light switch. When we walk in, the under cabinet lighting comes on and because the motion sensor is like eye shot from where we come in from the two car garage, the lights automatically pop on most of the time when we come in at night. So again, this is one of the most used features in our house. Such a good idea to put that motion switch in there. Yes, it was. Okay, and by the way, these are in no particular order of importance. It's just the 10 most. Number two, USB outlet covers. Now, we didn't do this necessarily as part of the build, but we did have the electrician come back and put USB outlet covers in our master bathroom, and we have them um, in our island. We use those all the time. All yes, cell phones are plugged in there, uh, even have like an on-counter bug light for when we have like the doors open and things like that, but they are definitely used. And in the bathroom, because they have the USB toothbrushes yes. and yes. such, so it makes it a right lot in. easier. Those were definitely worth the money. Yes, and speaking of uh, the kitchen island, we also had a touch faucet installed in our kitchen but it's not in the island though it is the sink because you'll see the way our kitchen is the island and is and the sink is not an island but anyway that touch faucet is fantastic because i do not like to have food on my hands you know while i'm cooking i like to wash my hands frequently and just you could touch it with your forearm your elbow your the palm of your hand that thing works fantastically. Yeah, and the touch sensitivity is at the edge where the where the faucet is and near where the handle is. So pretty sensitive too. Yes, that was awesome. That was a good buy. Uh, let's see, number four, the sliding door to the patio. This was something that was not originally in our plan. And then you kind of brought it up to me and said, hey, what if we put a sliding door there? Because I really wasn't thinking about needing one since we do have a door where the dining nook is. But well, I thought it was a good idea and I said yes, and I'm glad I did. Yes, so, so originally uh, um, I was thinking about it and we were gonna have windows there. And I said, you know what? We're probably gonna regret it if we don't, if we entertain and we don't have these sliding doors. And so, that's a structural upgrade that once you don't do that, it's gonna cost way more money to convert that wall of windows into a sliding glass door. We open those all the time. Yes, every single day we, we open those. Yeah, okay, what's next on our list? Uh, Cat 6. So we decided to have Cat 6 installed in all of our rooms, especially the bedrooms, the living room, and of course in the uh, in the game room, and we have well in the offices. Uh, Dee's TV, as a matter of fact, is hardwired in her office. Of course, my PS5 and you know for gaming and such is hardwired. But just in case we needed them, we didn't want to have to rely on Wi-Fi and have to get all of these uh, uh, modem extenders and all these things in the house. So we definitely used the Cat Six continuously in, in the house. Yep. Everywhere where you put up a TV in a room, you have it plugged it up into the Cat 6. So that's, yes. that's awesome. So a uh, double-sided fireplace. If you've been following us, you know that we have a double-sided fireplace in our bedroom. 
One side is our bedroom, the other side is the uh, master bath. Uh, we use it all the time. You know, D D loves it. She goes in and just that. turns it on, and yes. uh, and it has a timer for a remote control. It the ambiance is awesome. We haven't really used it for heat that much, but. Anyway, the ambiance and the look is fantastic and it brings light into the room without you having to turn on the overhead lights. Yes. So Dee and I, we each have our own office and this was something that we decided to do because we're still working from, uh, from home. We work remotely, so we decided to have separate offices, obviously because we have meetings. We use them every day for work. So this is definitely yep. a worthwhile structural upgrade and you know, of course, uh, you know, there, was, there uh, is, what am I trying to say? The uh, square footage. <laughs> so it added square footage and it was a structural upgrade, but we're glad that we made that choice. And again, if you've been following us, you know that because it's in close proximity, the offices are both in close proximity to a bathroom. They count as bedrooms, even though we're using them as offices. Yes, they have windows, they have a closet and it's close to a bathroom counts as a bedroom on the plan. So we have a five bedroom house, but we're really using like th as a three bedroom house because these two bedrooms are offices. What is next? Oh, the pendant lights in our bedroom. So they, I believe in our bedroom was the only place on the plan where we plan to put pendant lights. We wanted them on either side of the bed. That's been awesome because that way you don't have to turn on all the overhead lights. And we have light bulbs that we got from Amazon where you can control them with an app. Right. And uh, we actually had those pre-wired. And I don't know, we, we didn't do a video about that, but I installed the pendant lights in the bedroom. Again, part of these ritual is to the fireplace and the pendant lights That's right. every night. So and we it was a worthwhile to... upgrade. Alexa too, right? Oh. Those lights. So yeah. Awesome. All right. The pass through between the master closet and the utility room. Let's talk about that. That was a fantastic upgrade idea. Yes, we use it all the time. So when I'm sleeping or if D is sleeping, we don't want to wake each other up. It's just a great way we can go through the closet and uh, get to the other part of the house without waking each other up. And it's just great being able to go right from the master bathroom over to the utility room because we keep our laundry in the bathroom as yeah, well. Just so. cut through the closet. Um, all, oh, the drive through shower. Now, this was a structural decision we made, and in many builds, it, it you know, elevates the cost of your build by building that circular drive through shower. Oh, but it is nice. Yes. <laughs> it Use is. Every day, and we have the dual shower heads, of course, so uh, it's definitely something that, uh, that we use all the time we take a bath every day <laughs> yeah. well, a, shower. a shower so yeah. we're gonna get to because actually on our top 10 least used and forgive me up front because I jacked up the numbering on this sheet we have in front of us so it might wind up being 11 it's a good segue used. though right because that bathtub I wanted that bathtub. Thank goodness I didn't pay an upgrade fee for it. So the bathtub we have is whatever the included bathtub is that came with the bill. Because had I paid for one of those freestanding, you know, awesome, sleek looking bathtubs, that wouldn't have made any sense because I almost never take a bath in it. I guess I don't have time. I'm used to taking a shower in the drive through shower. And you know, it's the only bathtub we have in the house but still, it's a least used upgrade or feature. For now. For now. For now. Yeah. All right. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, oh, the great room fireplace. Uh, of course, we've only been in for about six months, so we haven't entertained a whole lot. I think we've used that fireplace maybe once or twice. And that is because we finally put a TV above the fireplace and it was a little chilly one night. We didn't want to turn on uh, the heat in the house and say, hey, let's see how this fireplace works. So uh, we haven't used it that much as of yet, but 
I figure in the future we'll probably use this a little bit more. Yeah, it looks nice though, but yeah, not really great. as useful. So another one of our least used features is this chandelier that's here in the foyer. I'm pointing like as if you could see that, but we'll put up a picture. The chandelier in the foyer of uh, the entryway of the house. I think I turned I turned that on one time, and that's only because we got a delivery of a chair. And the chair was going in my office, which is right next to the front door. So I was like, okay, let me turn this light on so we can see how to put it together. That was it. Yeah. Yeah. And it sits right between our offices. So unless somebody's coming over. In the dark. Like, it looks nice. There are just some things that you do as a feature and upgrade that you kind of know. It's not like you're going to be using it all the time, right? But it would be weird if there was no light <laughs> hanging from there. But I'm just saying, we spent money on it. Never gets turned on. Okay, so I'm 5'7", and D is shorter than I am, so we have these cabinets, of course, I don't know who they think is living here, the Jolly Green Giant or something, but we don't Just use the upper cabinets <laughs> uh, in, in the kitchen uh, as much. And of I course, don't think anybody does, right? Like, right. hit us up in the comments. When you have like a 10-foot or 12-foot ceiling, and they put those cabinets right up against the top of the ceiling, does anybody ever go in there for anything? I mean, I've seen... Wait, do, do you keep a ladder that you can, that, you know, so that I you can reach that stuff? I have seen that, though. That one lady had like a library ladder, and she was wee oh, going snap. across. I'm serious. Yeah, like, she did it. Yeah. But, I mean, normal people, nobody is going up there, so there is nothing in any cabinet cabinet that is up towards the ceiling in any room of our house. Right. Yeah. Uh, also, we have uh, we have bars installed, one in our bedroom and one in the uh, in the game room. And I think the one in the game room is kind of, we're not using it right now. I think that's attributed to us, you know, just recently moving in and we haven't entertained a whole lot. And there's another thing that I figure we'll probably use a lot more as time goes on. But right now, we have stuff on it, so we have not used it, but it was a uh, an, an upgrade. It's something we paid for on, on what, well, maybe two or three fronts because uh, we had to pay for the countertop to go in there, right. cabinets to go in there, so it's, it's almost a triple upgrade. And we still have to buy the mini fridges that are meant to go under the bar. So. Right, so one in the Six bedroom. Six months, and we haven't done it yet, yeah. just so you know. Um, what else? Oh, the spare fridge space in the pantry. Now, this has not come up yet because there's only two of us and we have one of those old school, new school Samsung side-by-sides. And my cousin warned me that if you do that and you need to put anything wide in the fridge that you're not gonna be able to get it in there. The freezer space. The, or the fridge. Yeah. Um, so, and it's happened now that we got those crab legs from Costco in a box and it won't fit. So we had to plug up the old, you know, top open freezer in the um, garage. Um, actually, that freezer is newer than the spare fridge that we brought with us from the rental. But in any case, that fridge has not been plugged in. We haven't needed to use it. It hasn't come up. You know, I know people who have families, that's a different situation because you do need a backup fridge. But for us, it's been six months. We haven't even plugged it in. All right, what else? Uh, what's next? The great room plugs. Oh, yeah, the floor plugs. The floor plugs. So that was an upgrade that they charged us per floor plug. And I think just getting floor plugs is tough because once you say you want it in a particular spot, if after you move in, it turns out that the configuration of the room you want is different, it's just not as convenient as I thought it would be. Well, we, well yeah, I think the placement of them is, is a little, is a little uh, off or a little different from what we had uh, originally imagined. But the other reason why is that we just, uh, we're still building up our furniture in our home. And again, this is one of those things that we'll probably use a lot more later. But as of uh, right now, we're not using using them. We don't have end tables yet. So. Right. There's nothing to put the lamp on. <laughs> we got the lamps, but no end table. That's we haven't a made a choice on that. So. About how to not go broke buying all new stuff for your house. You just don't do it and but, take your time. <laughs> but you got to say, you know, don't forego it. You know, think think about it. You know, and and you know, don't go, don't forego it. But just uh, know that just you might know not that you may not immediately. use it immediately. Yeah, yeah it might be a while. Um, oh, the ceiling fan pre wires. We did that in every room, I think. 
Now, that's another one of those things, Mo, that it's not because we're never gonna have fans, but we moved in, it was Labor Day weekend. So really, putting up ceiling fans in the wintertime just didn't seem like a priority. And buying them through the builder uh, as an upgrade, the, the mm -hmm. lighting company that they use, is a little uh they were a little uh on the on the expensive side for the products that they had we figured we could uh just get flush mounts we'll get the pre-wiring and put flush mounts where those fans are going to be we have a total of nine places where we're going to have ceiling fans including two out on the uh, the back patio but we just decided to do those flush mounts for uh be again, we because we moved in yeah. it was chilly and of course it's becoming more uh of a uh, of a thing now that it's getting warmer in texas right but so. yeah paying for ceiling nine ceiling fans in the winter was like we weren't going to do that yeah um led light and outlets because we did put, put an outlet in the ceiling in our bedroom and we put an outlet in the ceiling in the game room. And I think we have outlets underneath the floating vanities in the bathroom, too. We do. In, in, in the uh, owner's suite, in the yeah. owner's bath, we have those. And we just haven't... We, we haven't just, got we, around to doing it. That's so, all. I mean, so uh, that's what happens when you're busy, you're moving in, you have a job, you have stuff to do. I'm not sure how people may just like poof and everything in your house is done. But so far, that hasn't been a priority for us either. Oh, you speaking of plugs, I know we have one more now. We have we have yet to use those plugs that we got next to our toilets, those outlets. Oh, right. So we had outlets put next to all of our toilets in, in our bathroom so that we could later uh, have, what, bidets? Mm -hmm. So we could get, you know, the electric bidets. You could put it on top so, of the toilet seat. It's awesome, but it costs money. <laughs> so yeah, it, it we costs. haven't done that yet either. Um, okay, so now I don't know what number we're up to, but we have two more on this list. We might as well get them out. Um, the barn door. Right. Looks great. Yeah, so... And you're going to see pictures of where our barn door is. So we have a barn door between our game room and our kitchen uh, lounge area. And uh, I think I think you've closed it before. Well, I've times, closed but... it only because he was being super loud. And so I closed it because I was in the game room watching TV. But seriously, it just really has not come up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... It's a beautiful door. As a matter of fact, we didn't even put a handle on the door yet. So that oh, that's might... That's right. Yeah. yeah. Need to so, order one for that. Yeah. Um, and, oh, that actually is our last thing because we started talking about the bathtub in our master bath that doesn't get used. So, any other thing you can think of we need to talk about? Nope. nope. Just... Okay. Continue just so you know. To, uh, well, if you haven't already done so... Please subscribe to our channel so that you can see more videos about new home construction and these model home tours that we do in and around the San Antonio area. And continue to follow us as we continue to turn our new construction house into a home. And as always, until next time, be peaceful, stay prayerful, and count those blessings.